And Kenneth Smith said, now they have that lined up before I got here. <laughs> Kara Eaker. You saw her artistry and elegance on the balance beam. Well, even better here on the floor. And we didn't see her a lot on the floor last year because she was hampered by an ankle. Tough because the season is so condensed collegiate gymnastics that if you have an injury, it tends to be chronic because there's just no time to take off. Well, that was a watered down floor pass, probably for that reason, right? making sure they don't introduce those impact passes too early. So Kara competed in the Best of Utah, which was the second meet of the season last year, had a 9-8 on floor, and then had that ankle problem and did not compete on floor the rest of the way. So it's been nearly a year since she's been in the spotlight. See what happened. Let's hear for Kara Aker. Looks like she dismissed the takeoff or or the connection there. It's a combination pass. One and a half. Oh yeah, came in really short. Yeah, so on a combination pass, you want to finish not just on top of the flip, but she's a little not twisted all the way and behind it. So you can see her knees buckle. She knew exactly where she was, so it always looks yes, worse. Yes, and smart to bail out of it and make sure she walks away with just a bruise.